boys of Maritzburg College arrive at school from different parts of the town. Some on foot, but mostly on two wheels. The prefect on duty waits to check on late arrivals. With 700 boys in the school, parking is something of a problem. The school bell rings for morning assembly. A boy arrives late. He explains that for some unknown reason the family clock stopped. The prefect is not impressed. He has heard stories like this before, and down the name goes in the little book. In the meantime, the boys are going into the Elizabeth Hall. Mr. Nicholson follows them in. The second bell goes to let the staff know that everything is ready. And they too move into the hall Finally, the headmaster. The 1914-18 War Memorial. Gardens surrounding the memorial. Clark House, one of the original buildings. Entrance hall to Clark House. Memorial to old collegians who lost their lives in the Zulu Wars. A dormitory in Clark House. A scene in the quadrangle during break. The head boy is on the extreme right. One of the boys takes light nourishment. While others discuss transport problems. And the remainder stroll in the grounds near the Victoria Hall. And the beauty of this area is largely due to the creative imagination of the headmaster's wife.
A booby trap has been laid for an unsuspecting new member of the staff. But unfortunately for the schemers, the wrong member of staff arrives. The trap works. To the joy of the class. But they quickly realize their mistake. The main culprit is thrown out. And while the attention of the master is diverted, the boys give way to various expressions of mirth. The result, an extra parade. The boy silently states his private opinions of the situation. The squad is put through its paces under the eagle eye of the master. The torture is effective. Another view of Clark House. In architectural contrast is the new Elizabeth Hall. Then a move to Nathan House, one of the old buildings. And again, in contrast, the new Shepston House, where the juniors are housed. The sanatorium in the background. The Second World War Memorial Library. The window facing west was presented by the Natal Carboneers, with whom the Cadet Corps is affiliated. Roll of Honor. bust of R.D. Clark. A view of the new addition to the school. Cementing the new quad. Victoria Hall. Staff and boys at lunch. flag embroidered by Mrs. Barnes, preserving for posterity the names of old collegians who served in the First World War. Portrait of R.D. Clark and of Queen Victoria. The Cadet Band on Parade.
swimming plays an important part in outdoor activities. Here we see some of the boys who represented the school in the inter-school swimming gala. He decides that the dive was not good enough and he goes back to try again. The idea proved popular and the next boy follows suit. Here are boys taking part in a relay race. 